Welcome everyone to this new Open Nebula screencast. Today we are going to demonstrate a number of exciting Open Nebula features using a multi-provider Cloud Edge infrastructure. The purpose of this screencast is to demonstrate three different key capabilities of this distributed infrastructure – scalability, interoperability and portability. More on that later. First. Let me introduce some of the concepts to give the right context of what we're going to see in the demo. This demo is going to use the new Vertora testbed. The Cloud Edge deployment has been created under the Ipsi Cloud to provide a scalable environment for exploring next-generation Cloud Edge scenarios. It serves as a development, research and validation platform to evaluate innovative cloud and edge computing solutions and demonstrate their application in real-world use cases. The Vertora testbed is a multi-provider, multi-cloud infrastructure aggregating resources from many different cloud service providers across the European Union. Let's see how the multi-provider, multi-cloud infrastructure looks like. We have an Open Nebula instance running on a frontend provided by BitNL in the Netherlands. Also, we can see that we have an aggregation of resources in nine locations by the EU cloud providers from six different member states, as well as two EU locations provided by non-EU hyperscalers such as AWS and Equinix. Now we are going to log in into the Sunstone, the Open Nebula web interface, to see how these resources are represented. We can see 11 different clusters corresponding to the respective locations where hypervisors are available. Each of these clusters combine hypervisor servers or hosts in Open Nebula Speak. We also have several virtual networks in each cluster providing private and public networking. And finally, we also have data stores, the storage resources associated with clusters that handle the images and virtual machine disks. In terms of workload, we are going to use three different applications to showcase the capabilities mentioned in the introduction. We will be using a WordPress instance to showcase both scalability and portability, while we will be using object storage application called MiniIO and the Open Nebula Kubernetes distribution one key to showcase interoperability. In this section, we will explore the capabilities of the multi-cloud infrastructure, focusing on its scalability and efficiency in handling large-scale workloads that are distributed across 11 different locations in six member states. This test serves as a demonstration on how the infrastructure can seamlessly manage workloads at this scale in geographically distributed environments. For this scalability test, we will deploy a total of 2,000 virtual machines across the various clusters that make up the multi-cloud infrastructure. The application we'll be deploying during this test is a simple WordPress installation serving as a good example of a widely used application. We will be using a high degree of CPU overcommitment to achieve the 2000 instance goal. This is the virtual machine template that we are going to use. It is the same one that is publicly available in the Open Nebula marketplace. All settings were left on defaults except the placement where we've picked the specific clusters we'd like to deploy on. Now, we are going to instantiate 2000 virtual machines using this template. We will leave all settings as defaults and only change the actual amount of virtual machines we want. After a few moments, all the virtual machines will appear in their pending state and they will start getting deployed across the selected clusters at the pace imposed by the Open Nebula scheduler. This process can take a while due to large amount of virtual machines that we are deploying. After waiting for the deployment to complete, we can now see the list of virtual machines. 
We can also apply a filter to list the virtual machines that are located on any given host. We can also access the virtual machines without any issues. For example, we can choose this virtual machine and access it through our VNC implementation. We can also check the list of hosts to see how many virtual machines each one is hosting. As we can see, the smaller hosts are completely occupied while the larger ones still have some space. This is because we choose a scheduling behavior well, we will try to schedule the virtual machines as uniformly as possible without taking into the account the total capacity. This behavior can be changed depending on the user's needs. And that's it. We have successfully deployed 2000 virtual machines in 11 different locations using a single pane of glass that allows the full lifecycle management of resources at this scale in a reliable way. In this section, we will explore the interoperability capabilities of the multi-cloud infrastructure. Workload interoperability refers to the ability to run the same workload in different locations without having the need to convert them. In order to demonstrate this functionality, we are going to deploy the same virtual machine template in two different locations. We are going to demonstrate this using two different application types, Mini-IO and OneKey-E. Mini.io is an object storage system that exposes the S3 interface, so we will be creating two separate data storage services in two different locations, while one key is the Open Nebulous CNCF certified installer appliance to run Kubernetes deployment. Let us first start with the Mini.io. This OneFlow service template has been imported from the Open Nebula marketplace. We are going to adjust some basic settings, such as password for the media IO administrator and TLS, leaving advanced ones on their respective defaults. We are going to deploy this instance in the cluster provided by the Gdańsk University of Technology in Poland. We will also select the networks belonging to the Gdansk cluster. This will give it a public IP that we will use to access it. We will click Finish and wait for the virtual machines to deploy. As we can see, the service has been successfully deployed and we can access it through the web interface. We will now repeat the same process, but deploying it in the cluster provided by Arsys in Spain. We're going to check Mini.io instance in Arsys. We copy the assigned public IP address and access it through the browser. You can see that gives me an access to the second Mini.io instance also ready to be used, but this time running in the location in Spain, hosted by Arsys. Now we are going to perform the same operation, but this time we will be deploying two different Kubernetes cluster using the same OneFlow service template. We will firstly instantiate the service on the ASIS cluster in Spain. Just as with Mini.io service, we will leave most settings by default except for networks. Once the service has deployed, it will have a public IP address assigned to a router node. 
which we will now use to connect to the Kubernetes master node through the command line interface. As we can see, we can perform common Kubernetes operations such as listing the available nodes or listing the current parts. We will now repeat the same, but with the IONOS cluster in Germany. Once the service is fully deployed, we can also access it through the public IP assigned to the instance. And that's it! We have seamlessly deployed two commonly used services across different locations using a single control plane. In this section, we will explore the portability capabilities of the multi-cloud infrastructure. Workload portability refers to the ability to migrate a virtual machine from one location to another each of the locations hosted by a different cloud service provider. This functionality prevents any specific vendor lock-in. We are going to show how to achieve this in multi-cloud infrastructure that is capable of migrating workloads from a hyperscaler such as Equinix to an EU provider such as Gdansk Technical University. To showcase the portability, we are going to use the WordPress appliance from the marketplace. In order to better display the effect of virtual machine's location change from one provider to another in a different geographical location, the WordPress's landing page will display its current location based on the associated IP address and automatically going to change as we move between the providers. We are going to deploy a WordPress template, leaving most settings by default. We are going to attach a virtual network. This network will assign a public IP to the WordPress so we can access the contents. Now we are going to access the WordPress web page via the wordpress.virtuore.cloud URL. As we can see, the web page detects that it's currently being hosted in Netherlands. Next, we are going to migrate the virtual machine to Gdansk University cluster. Before that, we need to detach the current virtual network, since we will need to assign it a new public IP address provided by Gdansk. Now that the virtual machine has been migrated, we will assign it the Gdańsk virtual network, which will give it a new public IP address. If we access the WordPress landing page again, we can see that the current country is Poland. And that's it! We have seamlessly migrated a virtual machine across different locations. As we've mentioned in the beginning, this demonstration of Open Nebula is a part of new Virtuora testbed that has been developed in the context of our new next gen project under the EPSI cloud. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for future announcements.